Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Dale Brown. <laughs> Jack just asked me if I knew Saginaw Valley had a fight song. <laughs> I just found out, I guess. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't know it. Uh, this is such a great honor, and he said it before, uh, very humbled by this award. Uh, and, and all the family and friends that are here, it's just uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, thank you for the committee. Thanks to people who voted for me. Um, I'm very honored to be going in with this class that I'm going in. To be in the Saginaw County Hall of Fame is just... It's surreal. I, I know how huge this is, so I put uh, a solid 15 minutes yesterday into this speech, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared. <laughs> Believe me, I spent a lot of sleepless nights thinking about this. Um, I'm going to go back and mention a few people over the years that made me who I am today. Uh, I was born in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, and my parents, Ronald and Barbara Brown, uh, my dad was looking for work through GM, brought me to the Tri-City area, first to Bay City and then to Carleton, and I've pretty much been there ever since. At a young age, uh, I fell in love with sports. It didn't matter which one, depending on the season, I'd play. My dad always made a joke, where's Dale? Guy took off this morning on his bike with his bat and his glove, and he went that way. Came home, ate lunch, and took off dribbling a basketball that way. And uh, I mean, that's what we did back in the 60s, 70s. You know, you did, no cable, you know, no internet, none of that stuff. You got outside, you played, and uh, um, so at a, at a young age, I'd say about fifth and sixth grade, I started going to Carleton High School games. And uh, I knew then I wanted to play for Ron Vondette. They did the coolest thing for their games, too. They, they would turn out the spotlight, or they turn out the lights, put the spotlight on, and uh, they introduced the starting five. And I just said, someday, I, I want to do that. And, and my first idols I had, Bob Drain was an idol, like in fifth and sixth grade. And then a couple years later, it was Denny Brefka. And then I got eighth and ninth, and it was George Kubiak. And yeah, Kub, I know you're out there. You were an idol, I admit it. Uh, I just can't believe I sat in front of this many people, though. So, but um, yeah, and, and then, then I got on to high school. Well, I go, I go back to seventh and eighth grade, where I had some great coaching growing up. A guy by the he was a football coach at Carlton uh, High School. It was uh, Larry Churches was my first real coach. You know, before that, we didn't have travel teams. You didn't have AAU. So that was, you know, he had practice every day, and, and it was, and he was like a drill sergeant. And uh, then the next year, I had a great, great leader, great man, and uh, Jerry Seaman, whose son is on the Arthur Hill team that's getting inducted today. And if anybody ran into Jerry Seaman, had him for teacher or anything, they know what a great man that guy was and uh, is really missed today. Uh, so then I was on to high school, and uh, I had a drastic change in my life between my, uh, in the summer, between my ninth and 10th uh, year at, at school, my parents died of a tragic accident. And uh, didn't know where I was. My sister Nancy ended up going with my mom's sister, and uh, Evelyn and Hank Migalski. And Hank ended up being my uh, uh, legal guardian after that. And I was about ready to go up to Sault Ste. back to Sault Ste. Marie, my mom's brother, uh, Ronald Bud Cooper, who was the athletic director at Lake Spear State College, wanted me to come up and live with him. But I didn't want to leave Carleton. That's where my friends were. I just lost my parents. I wanted to uh, stay with my friends. And a good friend of mine, Rick Darling's parents, Pete and Joyce Darling, came up to the plate and uh, offered me a bed in their house, and which I'm forever grateful. Um, my, my kids and my grandkids still call them grandma and grandpa. And Pete's here today, just turned 91 a little while ago. Joyce is no longer with us, but um, yeah, so then, yeah. he's sitting over there, he's standing up, yep. So then I uh, got to play for uh, a couple other great coaches, Bill DeLong. I played three years varsity baseball for him, and we won uh, the Carlton's first ever district uh, championship my senior year, and also played JV basketball for him. And then, I, of course, I got to play for uh, Ron Vondette, and uh, I got to run under that spotlight, and it was everything I ever dreamed it would be. And uh, playing for Coach Vondette was, was unbelievable. 
The guy was strong with his fundamentals, and a kind of and another guy, great person I could go and talk to, not only about basketball but about anything, about life, and it meant a lot to me. And uh, after that, high school was over, uh, on to college, and uh, got to play for Bob Pratt, another good coach, and he always surrounded himself with some. Uh, Really good uh, assistant coaches. Had Mark Simons, who's still coaching college basketball. Nora Wayne Reed was a coach there, whose daughter Erin is getting inducted tonight. Um, so that meant a lot. It meant a lot to me to be around them people. And uh, in a college, I got to meet some, uh, some great friends that I didn't have growing up, but you meet in college. Mark Klein, who's here tonight. Tim Ryan, who's, who spoke. One of the most unselfish ball players ever played with in my life. And... Bob Winston, who couldn't make it tonight. Um, after college, um, yeah, where am I at? After, after college, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is this is the, uh, got into got into the officiate, and I just thought I can do this. You know, I want to try it out, and here I am, 30 years later, I'm still doing it. But uh, four other people uh, I will want to acknowledge uh, tonight is uh, it means the most to me are my three kids, Jennifer, Jeff, and Corey who I'm so proud of as they, they're growing into uh, fine young adults and raising their own families. And of course, my lovely wife, Maureen, who without her, in all honesty, I don't know if I'd be standing up here today. She's been through everything with me. I mean, we go so far back that uh, I, I got my prop here, Billy. <laughs> She's my number one fan. And we go back to, uh, we go back to our sophomore year in high school. I didn't know her that well yet. She went to St. Josephitz, and I, I went to Carleton Public Schools. So I, I didn't know her well in freshman, and I had her in speech class. But when I got moved up to varsity, everybody on game day would get these red blazers to wear. And I'm with all sophomores, so I'd be the only one in class on game day with a red blazer on. And she used to think that I thought I was really cool because <laughs> I got this red blazer on, but in all honesty, I was pretty shy, and I didn't like the attention it brought to myself. So, but after she got to know me a little while, she realized he is pretty cool. <laughs> and and then, then I got to know her a little better, too, and I said, wow, she's really cool. <laughs> and we started uh, going steady. And we've been together ever since. Um, been married 42 years, so, yeah. She's, uh, she's always supported me in everything I've done. She's given me a chance to do the things I like to do and still ref in basketball, um, which is starting my 30th season coming up. And uh, she'll be home waiting to cook me something to eat if, I, if I'm hungry or whatever. And she always has two questions, two questions when I come home. How'd your game go? I said, yeah, all right. How much did you get paid? So, <laughs> I, I made that last part up. But uh, as, as, I'm, as, as the course getting a little longer every year and the players are getting a little faster, um, it's kind of a joke, and this is true. She'll, she'll come out to one game and I'll say, be honest. You know, how, how do I look out there? You know? And she said, you look good. You know? Plus, you know, you, you're going to miss it. You know? So, so I come back for another year or so. And any coaches out there that thought I should have given it up a few years ago, you know who to blame. So, Maureen, so thanks again. I'm, I'm very blessed. This is, uh, this is quite an honor. Thank you. Is there anybody left in Carleton Township tonight? They're all here.